Hi there girls and boys, Miss Booksy here with Storytime at Cool School. Today we're reading Aladdin Chapter 5. But first, let's do a little recap of Chapter 4. So, Queen Aladdin had just met a dashing young prince named Rami. Well, at least she thought he was a prince. Let's see what happens next. The day of the cupcake party finally arrived, and Aladdin could not have been more excited. Hair, check. Outfit, check. Dance moves, Check. Oh, Jeannie, this party is going to be a maze. <laughs> Jeannie? <sighs> Guess he went back to sleep in his lamp. You're gonna miss out on an awesome party, dude. Oh well, more giant cupcake for me. <laughs> um, sleep through a party? I don't think so, queen. Let's raise the roof. Uh, no one really says that anymore. <laughs> uh, they don't? Well, cut me some slack. I know, I know, hashtag lamp life. We look good. Party time. So yeah, Aladdin and Genie were pretty jazzed about the party. Rami was less excited. Well, he was excited to see Aladdin and excited to eat a giant cupcake, but he was not so excited about having to steal a lamp. Well, not steal, return it to its rightful owner. That is, if Mustafa's telling me the truth, but how do I know I can trust him? Aladdin seems so nice. Okay, get it together. Deep breath, Rami, relax. Hey. <laughs> Hi. So, um, I want to check out the flowers. <laughs> Sweet. <What? laughs> Thank you for the flowers. Let's go check out the cupcake. Whoa, it's so big. Told ya. We're making the biggest cupcake in the history of cupcakes. <laughs> Are you going to drink the world's largest glass of milk to wash it down? Ooh, that's a good idea. I like the way you think. Aladdin and Rami talked and danced and of course ate like a gajillion bites of giant cupcake throughout the night. They were having such a good time that Rami forgot all about his mission to take the magic lamp. Mustafa on the other hand had not forgotten. So I said to the baker, what do you mean you don't have giant sprinkles? You can't have a giant cupcake without giant sprinkles. I mean, that's cupcakes 101. Huh? Do you have something for me? A uh, cupcake? The lamp. Where is my lamp? I haven't been able to break away yet. Well, how about now? I guess... Mommy, there you are. Drat. I have to hide before she sees me. Now go get that lamp. Hey, who are you talking to? No one. Just some guy who thought he knew me. Well, it's time for the limbo contest. You in? Definitely. How low can we go? How low can we go? Okay, now where would I be if I were a magic lamp? Is that it? Nah, it doesn't look magical. But then again, what do I know about magic lamps? Rami, what are you doing in here? I got lost. The house is so big. Right? I get lost in here all the time. <laughs> Come back outside because we're about to light the giant cupcake candles. Spoiler alert, they're actually fireworks. <laughs> Do you like fireworks? I love fireworks. Rami decided to give up looking for the lamp and follow the Aladdin outside. Ah. 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 Cool, right? <laughs> yeah! Do you do stuff like this at your palace? My what? You're, you're a prince, right? Don't you live in a palace? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we do stuff like this all the time. Oops, Rami had almost forgotten that he was supposed to be a prince. It was hard work pretending to be something that you're not. Little did Rami know that Aladdin was playing pretend too. But neither of them had to pretend to be having a good time. That part came naturally. They even agreed to hang out again on the very next day. Aladdin was so excited, she ran to find the genie to tell him everything. <laughs> hey, genie! It's gone! What's gone? The lamp! So, uh, basically my house and my entire identity, it's gone! Oh, gone! What? Uh-oh, kids, what do you think happened? Rami didn't take the lamp, so who did? Wait a second, I'll bet it was that bad guy Mustafa. Ah! We better go read chapter six right now! 